okay. Uh, it's Adam from All Aboard the Freight Train. I am here with Emilio. Hi. And Emilio's wife. Lisa. Lisa. Uh, from Bioparque Irupe. 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 Correct. In San Bernardino in Paraguay. And as you can see, absolutely incredible natural beauty. Uh, the sun going down just behind if you spin around. And so I thought I would ask a few questions because I know that I know nothing about biodiversity or ecologies or anything. So here is my expert. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, what is an eco lodge? Um, an eco lodge is a facility that um, it's centered on making nature accessible to people. So it tries to um, recreate a connection. From, for people from the cities to a natural environment um, like this beautiful ecosystem. So here we have some um, rooms that are designed using a geodesic uh, structure. So they they look like a glue, like a dome. It's actually a dome, and this make uh, makes them really enjoyable. They are in the forest, in the woods and they are fresh and cool because as you have experienced it already our weather is pretty <laughs> intense <laughs> the intense the heat yeah. is gets very high high temperatures so uh, in the ecodome uh, given its shape the cool uh, the, the hot air escapes through a ventilation hole at the top and circulates and that makes it uh, more um, economic uh, you don't have to have all the time the air conditioner on or okay. even the, the heating when it's cold. Well, I notice that it does have all the essentials, so it has the yeah, plug sockets. It has yes, it has all the, uh, uh, everything you need, it has electricity, it has uh, hot water, it has air conditioning, it has, um, how do you say, heating, so um, you don't need to be totally uh, deprived of uh, luxury. Comfort. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Not look for luxury, but, but comfort. So you can be comfortable and enjoy. When I walked in for that first time, that was like, wow. Just from the, the heat outside. The you, you felt yes. the, the, the temperature difference. Yes. Uh, so this is a good escape if you want to get away from a big city. From the big cities and from all the stress. Um, as you can see, you can listen to the birds and enjoy a beautiful sunset. There is no stress here. <laughs> no. You can live just stress at home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so once you're here, what kind of activities can you do? Well, um, for people that, for our guests, we offer um, ca canoes, so you can enjoy a canoe trip on the lake. We also have those little boats that you use um, your foot, you know, little pedal boats, pedal boats, okay. uh -huh. and we also uh, give our guests uh, courtesy bikes, so they can go into the um, how do you say that, the cycle way? Okay, yeah, cycle the path. cycle path that goes like uh, 20 kilometers into the next town, okay. and or the other way to the downtown San Bernardino. Okay, so they can enjoy. Uh, riding a bike. So you don't need to just relax here, you can do adventure yes. activities. And we also have some paths through the forest. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, um, some of the trees have some, sorry my fingers, <laughs> <laughs> um, some little signs with the name of the tree and a QR code. So if you scan the QR code, you know what you're looking at. Oh, it gives you more information. More information, about. yes. Nice. You have to go through the, the, the Whose idea was that? Uh, it's mine. It's yours? Yes, okay. I, I did the, the signs and the applications. So. Very nice. Okay. Um, any wild animals in there or mm, is it safe? No, nothing dangerous. Uh, just like small, it's kind of like a raccoon, for example. Okay. Uh, nothing okay. dangerous. <laughs> uh, a lot of birds. Um, most people uh, from other countries come here to do bird watching. Um, yes. Perfect timing. <laughs> so that's one of the attractives. Okay. And how much time would you recommend staying in 
San Bernardino. In San Bernardino, well, if you have the time, at least a week, okay. uh, if you want to get to know the town and relax a little. Okay. And what is the best month? The when best it's the best time? To well, it come? depends what you're looking for. Uh, in the summer, it gets really loud, okay. <laughs> fun. You have a lot of uh, things to do at night. Uh, but at this time of the year, it's more peaceful. So if you are looking uh, for full relax, this is the time of the year. Okay. Uh, if you enjoy a little uh, cold weather followed by heat uh -huh. <laughs> at yeah. the same, uh -huh. in the same day. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, when is the summer? Just for, for people who uh, don't know. Starting on the uh, 21st of December. December, okay. And that goes until March? Uh, 21st of February. February, okay. Okay. And uh, with sustain March. <laughs> March, okay. Uh, with sustainability, what one piece of advice could you give somebody if they want it to be more sustainable? Yeah, for, for people in particular, um, s stopping the one, one single use plastics will be a nice start. <coughs> and that will help to relieve a lot of the damage that we uh, as humanity are doing to our environment. Okay. Um, that will be a, a really nice start. So this is straws, straws, knife um, and fork. Yes, yeah, so, so cups. Um, okay. There are a lot of um, single use plastic items that we are exaggerating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and on our use. Okay. And one other. Tell me something about Paraguay. Why is Paraguay so special? Paraguay is. Um, most people say Paraguay is special by. Uh, it's people's so hospitality. I don't know if you noticed that. I have noticed that, yes. <laughs> yes. People here is actually really warm with foreign people. Um, we embrace uh, other cultures. We don't, most people don't discriminate. Uh, we like to learn from people from abroad. So people are always welcome. Yes, I have definitely noticed that, <laughs> which is why I've come back three times. <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you'll be back our little time. Me too. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adam. Okay. Goodbye.